Hello everybody out there in social media land. It's your personal injury attorney, Derek Bernstein, here for another Legal Blast. Today I wanted to talk to you about bankruptcy, what it is, how you can use it, and what are some of the negatives about using it, and to kind of clear up a little bit about some misconceptions. So bankruptcy is in the Constitution. People are allowed to do it. However, I remind you that while you have a constitutional right to have a bankruptcy, you don't have a constitutional right to waive any of the fees. So you do have to pay a filing fee to file for bankruptcy. And what is it good for, essentially, is if you have a lot of debt, unsecured debt like credit cards or maybe some past medical bills, things of that nature, it was a good way to get rid of that mounting debt. So there's two kinds of bankruptcy. There's chapter seven, there's chapter 13. Seven is a liquidation, it gets rid of everything. The 13 is a three to five year repayment plan where they break every single thing down, get you down to the nuts and bolts and, and work out a three to five year repayment plan of your debt. So when people file for bankruptcy or you're thinking, I have so much debt, I need to file for bankruptcy. Some of the negatives, you know, it's gonna go on, you're gonna have a judgment. You're not going to be able to file for bankruptcy for years to come, as well as the fact that it's going to show up on your credit score. It's really going to tank it. But, you know, if you're really, really behind on payments and things of that nature, your credit score is probably pretty bad as well. But just remember that they do look at that, as well as the fact that jobs and such will look at that as well when you're trying to get hired and it could keep you from employment. So when you're looking at you know, filing for bankruptcy, you really need to sit down. It is a personal decision on how much you need. You need to reach out to a bankruptcy attorney. But first, you should really think about making yourself a budget, really saying how much can I get by with without, you know, eating, you know, ramen every night, but you really need to cut it down because if you do look and are going to file bankruptcy to do a repayment plan over five years and you can really just budget that to pay, then maybe your plan should be to, to set a tight budget, call up your, your debtors and work out a plan with them to pay it off over the next couple of years. So there's no right or wrong answer, but I remind you that there's certain things that you cannot bankrupt out of. One of the fun is great student loans, like with my student loan debt, as well as um, alimony payments and child support. So you can't just say, I owe my ex $100,000 and in uh, child support payments, I'm gonna go bankrupt it. So remember, there's a lot of other factors there if you have questions or concerns, I'm pretty good with finances as well. So reach out to me. I can get you in contact uh, with somebody who does bankruptcy or just give you good uh, advice to see if you need to uh, indeed file for bankruptcy. So keep your questions coming. Subscribe to my channel and uh, see you guys next time.